by far the best board that I've ever ridden, the most fun board that I've ever ridden. Capita a simulator snowboard review. Hey what's up guys, it's Josh here. Today I want to do a little review on this Capita a simulator. It's pretty much the best board that I've ever ridden and the most fun board that I have ever ridden. I probably should have done this at the end of last season, but I tried so many boards up until now. I just got into snowboarding a few years ago, but I kind of got a little crazy with it. I'm go up and snowboard as absolutely as much as I possibly can. I've bought maybe six brand new boards, like untouched. I've bought like four things of bindings. Like I'm trying to learn stuff in the park. So although, you know, I've only been snowboarding for two or three years, like I'm really trying to understand absolutely everything that I can about it. Um, I didn't really write anything up for this review. So it's kind of going to be a spitball, but I was kind of going over everything in my head. And I was like, I really know almost every single thing about this board. So I'm probably about 6'3", six, 6'4", six, and I'm about 190 to 200 in that range. So I ended up getting the 154 a simulator. I also have, have an 11 and a half size boot. I use the K2 Thrax. It's just like Abram from Angry Snowboarder. He got me to get those boots and I really like them. So I actually ride the 11 Thraxxus because the Thraxxus, in my opinion, runs bigger. And then I also use the Union Falcor bindings, which people say are a little too overkill for a park deck, but I actually really, really, really like the Falcors for right now. They are my go-to binding. My stance, I actually, with this board, because it only has five holes for a stance instead of six, I'm used to LibTech that has six holes. I actually couldn't really get my exact stance because I, I should measure my stance, but I didn't. So slowly with this board, I actually was, I was really narrowing my binding setup every few times that I rode with this one, just because I feel like it's easier to switch over to switch when my bindings are thinner. And I just really like the feeling of my bindings being really narrow. I just really like the feeling of my bindings being really narrow. So I slowly narrowed it out. And I think I'm at a 6.6 six on this one. I think I started at 12.12, slowly went down to 6.6. Six. I actually really like less angles on a park board. But anyways, guys, this board board absolutely blew me away i had tried so, like i said i had tried so many different boards boards that i like you know more or less i tried a little like a few years old burton board i tried a really old nitro board i tried you know my friends got new boards new lib techs i tried those i bought new lib techs my favorite board up until this point was the lib tech box knife and I really like the box knife. If you've ever ridden it or you've heard about it, it is really such a great board. I really do like the box knife. And uh, I was getting into hitting boxes. I didn't really want to hit boxes unless it was my perfect setup. You know, like the box knife was my perfect setup before this. Whenever I try other people's boards, I would be like, okay, this is a nice board, but I don't want to hit any boxes. It just doesn't have that good feeling. You know, the second that I strapped into this board, I wanted to progress more than I did with my box knife. I, I've never been so blown away by a board. I think even the first day, when you ride a snowboard, you ride it down a few times, you kind of get the feeling. There's so many times I bought a new board and it's just not really been that impressive. This board was so impressive. I usually snowboard before I go to work. I work at 4 p.m. so I can actually snowboard for a long time. When I first rode this board, I was like, I'm still having fun with it. I'm still discovering this board. Like I, I can't believe that I have to leave when I have so much more to discover with this board. It's just such a crazy feeling because I've never had it like that before. I think it's like $500. That is a lot of money, but I've been buying these lip techs. And usually if you get something like this in a lip tech, it's gonna be at least 600 maybe more. I think that LibTech has like three different kinds of constructions. The middle construction is horsepower construction. All those boards are $600. This has, I think, even lighter woods than the HP LibTech. So what, what would cost $600 in a LibTech, you get a lighter board here for 500 and on top of this, one thing that really blew me away with this board was the race base. Like I think they did some sort of structure to it. I don't know if it's a full race base, but it's not normal centered. This board is probably five to 10% faster than any other board that I've tried. It was extremely noticeable. And for somebody like me who I really like having that edge, it's amazing to have, I've tried like eight, nine boards and all of a sudden this board's like five to 10% faster. If I'm like gonna set up for a box or something, I'm gonna get speed very, very quickly with this one. I don't really wanna ever ride a board without a special base ever again, just because of how fast this was. It has a very long contact length. It's gonna 
ride like a bigger board. That's something that I really liked because I kind of like that mix of like I'm a bigger guy, I need some power, but then I also want it to be light and nimble. I think the contact length of this one, it's similar to boards that are longer. Like I was saying, then I think the contact length is between, it's almost like a 158 DOA. I think the 158 DOA is a hair longer but it's essentially about the same size so i don't really know how much that's going to help you it's going to be more stable the one problem the only problem that i have with this board is that it's not the best for like buttering but i think it has pretty good snap so good pop but when i was trying to butter it fighting me a lot even with a 154 i'm sure you could do it if you were very very good very expert but something like the box knife was just as like so easy to butter almost too easy if i were to pick only one negative i would say that it was hard to butter but besides that i just absolutely love this board i've never like strapped into a board and wanted to do harder stuff than I was on my best board before. I've never felt so fun riding a new board, riding a new shape. That ASIM is so nice. And I think the, because it's a 154, but it gives it less of a, like a, a grippy, bitey feel. So which is kind of nice, because if you're like on a box or something, things like that, you don't want it to really overly grip. But at the same time, this is technically like a carving board. So it, you don't really like lose anything by having that side cut not be so deep. I really hope that I went over everything about this board. Like I said, the main things I like is how fun it was to ride the ASIM. So fun. And then on top of that, the, uh, the base. You know, I could just feel how much quicker I am. If you're in a situation where it's kind of hard to get speed for a, a jump or a trick, or some, sometimes up at Mammoth, there'll be these long, smooth snow slopes where like the skiers have their poles and they can move and the snowboarders kind of get stuck. So just for me, I just loved, loved, loved the base of this. And I don't think I could ever go to another base besides like a premium base just like this on my lip tech boards i would make sure to buy the centered base which should be closer to this but the centered base just was nothing compared to the capita simulator this is for right now by far the best board that i've ever ridden the most fun board that i've ever ridden let me know what you think of this board down below and did you ever have an experience like i had with this board because i'd be very interested to see i was telling my buddy i think i could find a board that's going to provide this experience and make me love a board as much as i did with this one but i feel like i'd have to try so many boards because i had tried so many before this and i i didn't even understand that i could like a board as much as i did with this one because of how many boards i bought and that i wasn't really that much much of a fan of. But anyways, guys, we're on the road, 25,000 subscribers, and I couldn't do, that. I do it without any of you guys' help. You guys are the best. I'm having a great day out here. Hopefully, you're having a great day at home. See you all in the next video. Peace.